The Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park presents The Rizzo Show. And now your host, Tony Rizzo, with co-host Mike Polk Jr. Stop it! Stop it! All of you stop it. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another special edition of the Rizzo Show. We are live here at the fabulous Roxino, our title sponsor tonight, Michael, with a live studio audience. It's, it's really stimulating, you know what I mean? Isn't it? It brings it to a whole new level. Are you guys ready to have some fun and talk local sports? Oh. Uh, we're more than just local sports. This show is internationally known and, is. A, and award-winning as well. I heard we're huge in China. Is that we, right? are, we are big Good. with the sneaker market they in China. They Absolutely. Yep. But we, it's not just Michael and I tonight. Because we're here at the Roxino, we have a couple of very special guests. You guys ready to bring them out? Right, why not? I think, All right. I think they want, you ready? You ready to right. hear, meet these gentlemen? Good. You know it's Browns season, so we're going to talk a little Browns tonight, okay? And I've got a future Hall of Fame writer. He is the only person that votes uh, from Ohio on the NFL Hall of Fame, and he has covered the Browns for 34 years. He's a local guy. Please welcome my teammate at ESPN Cleveland, Mr. Tony Grossi. Woo! 100 years war. 100 years war. Right here, T. Blue Mike. Tony, Michael was chanting 100 years war. What does that mean? Well, that's the, that's the term that I use to describe what we've been against, uh, what we've been uh, up against since 1964. And you since, coined that, really, yourself. I mean, as you, in usage in this way. You yes, coined, yes, yes. So we're, we're all fighting the 100 years war. Unfortunately, the real one lasted 116 years. Oh, no. For all so we've only, we've, out we've only got about 95 more years to <laughs> no, go. No, no, we're getting but closer. But you we're think getting we're getting closer to ending this skirmish. I am, yeah. It's, it's optimistic been, about it's this year. pretty encouraging That's an, and optimistic. An optimistic Tony Grossi. What, the world is coming to an end. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, our next guest uh, is a former Pro Bowl quarterback. He is also a Super Bowl winning quarterback. He is also a Cleveland icon. And he's a part of the Browns preseason telecast. I feel like he's the best person to ask whether Baker Mayfield's going to be good or not. How about a welcome for Mr. Bernie Cosa? I heard of this guy. Bernie, Bernie, of course, Bernie. By the way, how is Cozar Steakhouse? We get such great reviews. You guys are award winners there as well. Well, thank you. Getting the award for one of the top steakhouses in town's been great. I feel honored to be here tonight. Unlike the first telecast, you guys gave me my own microphone. <laughs> hey, look at you. You've earned it. You've earned it. Thank you. you have. Guys, we have so much to talk about. Let me just start with you, Byrne. Do you feel a lot more optimism this year than you have in the past with the Browns? You know, I think a lot of people have asked all of us that question. Yes is the short answer to it. Uh, that being said, me and Tony were talking backstage about how things have gone over the years and the expectation level. What's a, re what's a realistic uh, expectation? And then what is something maybe as players you have to think about just to get to that promised land to where you actually are competing for Super Bowls? And I think the team is definitely better. There is more hope for it. That being said, you got to really execute it now. How many times have we been hopeful? Sure. Oh, yeah. I've years? fallen for it. Sure. The last, three, <laughs> the last three regimes. Tone, do we finally have a quarterback in Cleveland? I think we do. Uh, uh, ultimately, I think the uh, we're going to get to where we want to go based on how Baker Mayfield develops. I think Tyrod Taylor is here for a purpose, and that's a necessary step to take this team to a next level which means win some games. And then at some point, if the team is going to be a playoff team, it's going to be what Baker Mayfield, I believe. There's been some talk about uh, Tyrod possibly, you know, the, people are complaining about the number of snaps Baker's getting compared to Tyrod and, and uh, back and forth. Um, do you think Tyrod's going to be ready for game one? Yes. You do? Yeah, we keep hearing that every day. Tony, practice. it looked like he broke his wrist. Yeah. Is that a problem? Right? <laughs> as long as it's the left wrist. Yeah, it's, it's the okay. left one. Yeah. No, but I, I think it's a sign. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm fishing for things here. But in the past, he would have broken his wrist, right? Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland right. bad luck. 
And now it was just a, a bruised hand. Do you know what Bernie was told me? I don't. How many bones have you broken in your body? Because well, what he said was, he goes, I've broken like 17 bones in my body. He goes, but fingers don't count. <laughs> Am I right? Well, I actually, Am I right? Yeah, you said that. Not to pitch, not to pitch my book, learning to scramble. Yeah. But in there, we do. I do talk about it. I had 20 some surgeries, and I've hit 60 broken bones. Right. Not counting fingers and toes. And actually, I was uh, joking with TT that this is how his pinky is going to look for the rest of his life. Yeah. And it is. And it is your left hand. So. That, I, that's not, you can't straighten that out, oh, no, like the rest of us. No. Right? no. Out. There you go. But I saw. I actually saw a picture of your ankle one time, and it made me throw up. Just so you know, it's really beat up. Well, if you think this is bad look in the ankles. Yeah, worse. I know. It's not good. Nobody. Well, uh, if you think that's I want to be I want to be invited back so I'm not going to take my shoes off. We appreciate you. that. Well, that's People right. are trying to eat steak in your restaurant. We don't need to show them your disgusting Hold ankle. Hold on. Wait a minute. Did you bring the teeth that you keep next to your bed every night? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a, spa, uh, a few a extra spare, spare teeth around. Yeah. Yeah. Spare mm -hmm. set of teeth. Guys, Tone, what do you think Todd Haley, the new offensive coordinator, has brought? Because we've seen some good things so far from the offense, but in the third preseason game, they struggled a little bit. Uh, they did against the Super Bowl champions, so let's sure. give them a break there. Uh, I, I think he brings a, a great resume. of Wherever he's been, they've been productive. Quarterbacks have been productive under him. And let's face it, uh, since Bernie was in his prime, uh, the Browns haven't been really good. It's that position that needs to be good. And, and I think having Todd Haley and a brighter future for the quarterback, uh, that's what's got me optimistic. First of all, I'll say this. We've been doing the show for uh, 17 years now, it feels like. Correct. Something around there. And that's a lie. It's, it hasn't been quite that long, everybody. Um, five, right, but it's okay. Okay. Regard it feels like it. You know, it feels like it. Uh, but... Every year, you know, when we have you on and stuff, you've sounded more negative in the past. And I do want to say, you actually do sound more positive I this am. year. Literally positive. So when he played, I was the most positive guy in the media. Yeah, because we had won. him. They won. Because we had him. Sure, of course. No, I'm not saying you're, ne you're not negative. No. You're just realistic. And yeah. people interpret realism as being cynicism in this day and age, it seems like. Yeah. And you, you're, you're speaking the truth. But I love seeing this look in your eye. And I've spoken with you a couple of times. And you do seem excited about this season. And that gives me hope. But trust me, I could turn on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we did last year, and we did the year before, and we did the year before. Burn, let me ask you, the, the Todd Haley offense in, in Tyrod Taylor, it doesn't take a lot of chances. You were a guy that took a lot of chances. What do you make of Baker Mayfield so far in the preseason? Well, first, talking about Coach Haley, I'm a big fan, like Tony, of his system and a fan of how he articulates um, his wants and, and desires to get a good football team, to get a good offense. Uh, I come from that, that older school um, kind of mentality of tough, hard-nosed physical play, and I, I do think the offense is, is moving in that direction. Um, Tyrod has been good for the, for the team and for the quarterback room. There's no doubt about it. He's going to be safe with the ball. Um, I, I had a situation where I was a little more uh, down the field with it, but the game's changed a little with it. Baker has that down the field mentality. Now, how do you balance um, being smart with the football, winning games, yet finding that, cons that kind of aggressive down the field thing that you need? Todd Haley does want to throw the ball down the field. You need to spread, spread the defense, get them open. The big question is the Browns brought back Hugh Jackson after a 1-31 in two-year stint. Tony, do you have confidence in Hugh Jackson? Well, this is the greatest mulligan ever given. Yeah. 1-31. Right? and 31. And So he knows not how. strong. If we were 1-31, and 31, we wouldn't be doing the Rizzo not show right now. Not a strong right record. Right? So he has got to uh, splice the fairway with his mulligan shot. Um, I, I detect an urgency in Hugh Jackson that has never been there the previous two years. I mean, expect team is so much better, but I think that the expectations are exponentially bigger than they were his first two years. Burn, what do you think? Yeah, and to, and to play off of that point, I think not only us, us four up here, the fans out there, the, the viewers watching, um, to the players and coaches, talk is now cheap. Um, the mentality of we're going to talk about it, those days are past. It's now the reality of what's going to happen on those 16 Sundays, and nothing short of W's is really going to get past people. Now, we've heard all this talk. We've heard all the stories. We've, we've 
kind of got given the benefit of the doubt, and I think I see that positively within the coaches and within the players. All right, we're going to break. We're going to get everybody's prediction before this season is over. Guys, thanks for being here in our first segment. I'm going to ask you to stick around because coming up, we have a very special guest that is coming here tonight to Club Velvet at the Roxino. It's the Rizzo Show live at Roxino. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey, Cleveland, it's Bernie Kosar. Take the shirt off my back during the $300,000 touchdown and t-shirt giveaway at the Hard Rock Roxino. Welcome back. Special edition of the Rizzo Show. We are live at the fabulous Roxino in Club Velvet. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a world-renowned mystic and master of the dark arts. He can see into the future, so he already knows that you are going to love him. Would you please welcome the one and only Polkadamas. Hello. Thank you so much for having me on your sports program, Tony Rizzo. Um, Polkadamas, oh, great one. Thank you for being with us. You have severely upgraded the outfit Thank right now. Thank you. But yes, I went all out. All the bells and whistles. Hold on. Wait a second. Whoa, wait. I'm already having a feeling. A vision. I had planned on eating at the Fresh Harvest Buffet here at the Roxino after this, but I can see... Someone has eaten all the peel and eat shrimp. <laughs> Wait, they're putting more in. I'm good. Never mind. Sorry. Where oh, were we? Oh, great My one. Fault. I have you scheduled for Kozar Steakhouse. Oh. Yeah, how is that? A little upgrade for you tonight. I deserve it. Now, I have a number of questions here, and I need you, oh, great one, to look into the future. Are you I ready will, to go? I will look into the future Here we go. Yep. First question. This is big on everybody's mind. Will Baker Mayfield... Will Baker Mayfield exceed expectations this ah, year? Ah, an excellent question. Let me look into the, the spirits of the universe. Mm, and there it is. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yeah. But wait a second. No, it's for his underwear company. His, oh. It's the sponsor. Have you seen the underwear he's making? Oh, we, oh we've seen There's it. There's the next one. That's not. That's a real set of underwear he's selling. Oh. Yeah. But anyways, that goes really well. That's all I can see. But yeah. uh, Great one. Have you ever shot with a tiger before? So oh, like yes. Tigers. I've been there. Mm. <laughs> Another uh, question for the great one. Wait. Hold on. All right. I'm good. Where did you steal those drapes? All right. Here we go. Question number two. Oh, great one. Obviously, the Cavs won't be the same this year without LeBron. Right. But the Eastern Conference is pretty weak. Will the Cavs go to the playoffs this year? Will the Cavs go to the playoffs this year? Spirits of the universe, speak to me. <gasps> yes, they will. The Cavs will go to the playoffs this year. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Oh, here's the vision. There it is. They're at the Indians playoffs game. Never mind. They went to an Indians playoffs game together, They're as you can see in the future. But yeah. the Indians are going to the playoffs. That's nice. The playoffs are the playoffs. I didn't know. I, we should have specified. Yes, yes. All right, as long as No, the Cavs are going to be trash, just so you know. Total trash. That's all right. We'll get a good draft pick. That's fine. That'll Trust me, Dan will have them back sooner no. than later. Uh, oh, great one. Another question since you're on the NBA right now. Who will win the NBA? The Warriors. You... You didn't even look into your crystal. I don't need to look into the ball. That team's stacked. We're screwed. There's no point. Doesn't matter. Kev no, listen. Kevin Durant <laughs> screwed up the entire league by being a front-running bitch. So says Polka Thomas. Um, please tell me LeBron and the Lakers will suck this year. Polka I promise Thomas. you they will suck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again, don't a, need to look into the ball. That's a, that's a train No, we don't want LeBron to stink. We love LeBron. I want the Lakers to stink. You, you do. All right. That's just me. That's just Polkadamas. Uh, um, Polkadamas, look into your crystal ball here, and you might need this right I'm now. I'm ready. Should the Browns sign Des Bryant? Mm. Would it be a good move? Should the Browns Follow sign the receiver, Des Bryant? You Des know what? Bryant. Hold on. I don't have to look into the future for this one. I'm going to go ahead and look into the past. Let me put it in reverse. Put a sound effect in there later. Oh, there it is. Here's the past. Let's look at it. No, that's Kenny Britt. 
We do not. No. It turns out that's the exact same kind of situation. Don't put yourself back in there because Kenny Britt's trash as well. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, great one. All right, here we go. Last question. Polkadamas, you've seen the Bud Light Victory Coolers. When will we open the Bud Light Victory Coolers? Okay. Let Polkadamas look deep into the future. Deeper. Oh, it's, I'm still going. Hold on. Give me a little time. Ooh, I'm running out of breath. Wait a second. Oh, wh nope. Hold on. I'm what? what? My, I have only, I can only look so far. I'll show you the furthest thing I can see. Let's take a look at it. There it is. Oh, that's the few. It's not looking good, you guys. That's clearly the very distant. That's 2079. Oh, come on. And oh, they great are still one. locked. Oh, great one. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Polka Damas. You'll all live happy lives. Thank you. Oh, great one. We'll see you at Kozar Steakhouse. When we come back, we're going to check out some of the great food they have here at the Roxino. Bernie and Tony will be back with us as well. We'll be right back at the Rizzo Show. Stay with us live from the Roxino. Welcome back. Special edition of the Rizzo Show at the Hard Rock Roxino. Of course, we got Bernie, Tony Grossi. And my man, Rick, who is the food and beverage director. Partner, great to see you. And look at this. You brought us some fantastic food. Always a pleasure to see you, Tony. Glad to feed you. Always glad to be on the same stage as these two great guys. <laughs> we brought you some food from three of our great venues. Here. Yeah, when you come to the Hard Rock Roxino, it's not just about the game. It's just not about the entertainment. The food is spectacular. All right. Now, I know it's clam bake season already, isn't it? It Don't sure tell is. me summer's over, is it? Nope. Okay, good. Ever. What do we have here, partner? Where's that from? That's Man, it. it's a whole live Maine lobster. That's a whole live one-pound Maine lobster. You get that every Friday as part of the clam bake. Oh, you can eat shrimp, clams, oysters. I think he's looking for polka damas. I really do. He could he could do a segment with them, sure. Um, and what do you you get with what is it one time price and you can have at it yep, right? Thirty two ninety nine. You get a, a one pound lobster and everything else you can eat. You get one of these, but you get everything else you can eat. Corn, taters, you name it. Just like a real clam bake. Delicious, fantastic. And, and the chefs are fantastic here. I know Chef Chris for many years. I know he does a great job. What do we have here, partner? This looks like the meat and potatoes. This thing is done so well at Kozar's, we're going to do a, a smoked one in the Hard Rock Cafe. It's a double-cut Ohio pork chop. We're going to glaze it in some apple, uh, apple butter, serve it with some warm apple butter on the side and a little bit of apple underneath. So if you like apples and you like pork, you're going to like that a lot. I got to tell you, Bernie was so proud when you called me and you told me you guys won. What, what award did you guys win? Well, we've won the top steakhouse in, in Northeastern Ohio now, I think. How many times? Three times in a row, Rick? Thank you. Yeah, we've won top steaks three times in a row, and we were top fine dining one year as well. I'd like to take credit for the culinary skills that we portray. He writes all that's the That's not recipes. exactly my forte, although I will definitely be eating this later. Well, that's all right. T Tony and I at ESPN Cleveland, we're all about free food Fridays. Right. So <laughs> feel free to come up anytime. And then, partner, what about these? Because these aren't going to make it to the break. That's my prediction. Those will not. <laughs> those are the best crab cakes you ever had. And those are available and have been available since we opened in 2013 in Coast. Kozars. They are amazing. And explain, Kozars is a wood fire grill. What does that mean, Rick? What that means is we get wood from right down the road. Uh, it's oak, it's cherry, it's pecan. It's all natural wood, and we fire it up. So every day the temperature's a little different. So you can literally get a steak in there a couple days in a row, and it'll taste just that much different. It's fantastic right off the grill. Fish, pork, everything right off that grill. And remember, when you go to Kozar's, you never know when Bernie will be. Bernie, you show up all the time. Don't you? You were there tonight before we did this show. I'm the guest that won't leave. You <laughs> He leaves eventually. Why but, would you we not love be there right. looking at this? I got day. my TVs and food. What, and, what else and, do I and, need? You, and the doggy bag situation is yeah. phenomenal for going home, right? Absolutely. Right? These are going home. Rick, thank you, buddy. It's our pleasure to be here tonight. How about a nice round of applause? Don't go anywhere. When we come back, one final segment, we'll get our Browns predictions for the season from our experts and the audience when the Rizzo Show continues. Hey, Cleveland. It's Bernie Kosar. Take the shirt off my back during the $300,000 touchdown and t-shirt giveaway at the Hard Rock Roxino. Welcome back. Hard Rock Roxino, special edition of the Rizzo Show. 
Time now to get our Browns predictions. We call this Call Your Shot. We want to know what you think the Browns record will be at the end of the season. Michael's going to go with the audience first. Go. What's the record going to be, sir? Nine and seven. Nine and seven, oh, sir. I take that. I'm going with seven, nine. Seven and nine. Both of you are very ambitious. Hold on, no. Michael. Do they know we were 0 and 16 last year? We have some very optimistic okay. people in this right. area. What's okay. your call, ma'am? Four and 12. What is your call? Nine and seven. Shock the league. Can I get the experts, Tony? What are the Browns going to go? I'm going to say you? seven and nine. They have to get off the double-digit loss. I consider that a success. Bernie. I want to look at it positively, and we need to think about winning the division. Wow, we'll oh. take that. Thank you for joining us on a special edition of the Rizzo Show. Hard Rock, Roxito, good night, everybody. Good to be alive. Bernie Kozar promised we'd go to the playoffs. He promised we'd go to the playoffs.